Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Paul Crump. Paul, please introduce yourself and tell us about your role. Thank you for inviting me today. Um, I'm Paul. Um, I'm the Global Brand and Marketing Manager for Yale, based in the UK, but part of the, the group in Stockholm. And uh, very pleased to introduce all of the, the Yale history. I'm a very Yale nerd. Yeah, Paul is our resident Yale door hardware nerd. So, um, and today, very special episode, we are celebrating Yale's birthday. What birthday is this for Yale? It's our 182nd birthday. So from 1840 to 2022. Oh my gosh. Is this, uh, our, is Yale Asa Abloy's oldest brand? Yes, I think it is. It's oh. uh, one of the old, I think it's one of the world's, oldest brands as well there's not many brands out there that can say that they've got this heritage yeah one of the longest running brands it's crazy all right so what uh, early patents is Yale known for well we have a couple and if we look at like the earliest ones with Linus Yale senior he uh, patented the uh, the original door lock with circular pin tumblers in 1844 and then he brought his son on, Yao Jr., who really kind of radically uh, changed the business and patented the famous pin tumbler cylinder in 1856. And then the year later, he uh, patented the design for the pin tumbler cylinder padlock in 1857, which we still use around the world today in many different forms. Yeah. Yeah, the industry still uses a lot of this technology today. I can't believe it's still 180 years later. Well, not quite 180 years later because those patents came a few years after uh, Yale was established, but we're still using all that technology today. That's crazy. Yeah, and I think that's really good because it's the heart of everything that we do, especially in all our new stuff. It's We've learned from the past to create the future. Yeah. All right, so can you tell me about some of Yale's most prestigious projects of the past? Yes, we've been in some really famous buildings. So we've been in the Metropolitan Life, we've been in the New York Life, the Lincoln Building, and we had a, a prestige showroom in the Chrysler Building where we showed all of our door locks to all of our future customers. And then we also had a log shop in Disneyland, California, which... Mm -hmm. It's very strange. I don't know why you'd buy a lock at Disneyland, but I think there was a good way of showing our brand to the younger audience. Yeah. Uh, even exhibited at a World's Fair in the past too, I believe, right? Yeah, the World of Tomorrow in 1939 slash 40. Um, we were quite a big stand on there. Um, and we were famous for also the other side of the business of like pulleys and stuff like that. So. I think it's pretty good to be at that world fair. Yeah. So how did Yale make its jump into the commercial space? Um, well, Yale is predominantly residential, but in the US we had that commercial side and we worked in places like out of homes. So it was like the post office where we had uh, security boxes and then we become really famous for our bank logs. And uh, honestly, I've seen some of the bank locks that we have in our archive and they are beautiful pieces of artwork it is stunning the the dials the materials that they used it was it was beautiful is there any door that Yale can't secure nope we can we can protect any door um, and we keep people safe and uh, secure mm. we have a door lock for everybody yeah yeah everybody every door uh, can you tell us about the ceramic department that Yale had in the 1940s? Yeah, and this is where it becomes interesting. So in 1940, we had a kind of research design department in New York um, where they were working with a lot of famous designers uh, and partnerships in creating uh, door hardware and furniture knobs. Um, one of the famous designers, Paolo De Poli, uh, we created these like really interesting fish uh, doorknobs, which we have in our archive. And also we have, uh, I've, I've brought this board with me here. And as you can see, uh, we have all the old ceramic 
uh, knobs for door furniture, drawers, cabinets. Some of them are finished in 22 karat trim, but every one is like hand decorated. And this is what they did in that, that ceramic department in New York. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's, that's amazing. And we're going to drop some pictures in too. So we'll yeah. show some other uh, images as well. So you'll get to see some real close up detailed images as well. Honestly, the, the stuff is, is beautiful. And I really want to bring that kind of creativity back. So you might see some interesting things in the future from Yale. Mm, little sneak peek. Yes. <laughs> So what year did Yale join the Asa Abloy group? It was in the year 2000. So we've been with them now 22 years. And this is really, we've become very fast paced, but also a global brand. Uh, we, we sell and uh, for 125 countries now, and it's growing and growing. Um, and yeah, and this is where we've got lots of teams across all the divisions. And we are really focusing on our, our smart home technology. We were famous for the original door lock, but now we want to be famous for our smart locks and really help consumers build their smart homes. All right. Well, thank you for coming on today, Paul. And I want to wish you and Yale a happy 182nd birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. If you want to find out more information or history, or to browse the products that Yale offers today, head over to YaleHome.com. Thanks for watching.